Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an extra special treat for you. We're going to be walking through a sketch to explain mud piles, an acronym to explain the causes of elevated anion gap metabolic acidosis. So let's get to it. This scene is titled Muddy Mess at the Farm. First, notice that the farm is located in the mountains. Mountains are often found at higher elevation, so this should help you remember that this scene refers to causes of elevated anion gap metabolic acidosis. So now for the causes. The M in mud pile stands for methanol. Methanol can be produced from natural gas, biomass, and also bio waste. I've drawn piles of cow poop here to make you think of bio waste, which should remind you of methanol. Next, the U in mud pile stands for uremia. Uremia occurs when urea levels build up in the blood, which is often precipitated by kidney injury. To help you remember this, I've drawn some kidneys here on the side of the cow. Next up in mud piles is D, which stands for diabetic ketoacidosis. To help you remember this, we have the farmer holding a bag of candy, which should make you think of diabetes and diabetic ketoacidosis. P stands for propylene glycol. Now propylene glycol is commonly used in polyester resins and also antifreeze. So on that note, we have this cool PE teacher hang gliding and wheeling an antifreeze gun, which he's using to turn the falling snow into rain. The I in mud pile stands for isoniazid. Isoniazid is a drug used to treat tuberculosis. So you'll notice that our farmer is sick, coughing and producing a bloody sputum. This should make you think of TB, which will make you remember isoniazid as a cause of elevated anion gap metabolic acidosis. Next up is L, which stands for lactic acidosis. Lactic acid builds up in the setting of intense anaerobic exercise. So we have a buff weightlifter here over on the right to help you remember that. The E stands for ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol is also used to make antifreeze, so let's go back to our very cool, get it, phys ed teacher. Notice the PE on her hat. Not only does this indicate her profession, but it should also help you remember that both propylene and ethylene glycol are used in antifreeze and they are both causes of elevated anion gap metabolic acidosis. Lastly, the S in mud pile stands for salicylates. Medically, we often encounter salicylates in medication, most notably in the drug aspirin which is frequently given to treat heart conditions. Notice that our weightlifter has a big heart. This is because he is quite compassionate and cares a lot about the farmer. Our weightlifter doesn't know a lot about medicine, but he does know about treating heart conditions, which is why he has a bag of aspirin on his hip, which he's going to take over the farmer to try to do his best to help. Now that's all of mud piles. But to tie everything together, look at how this snow is turning into rain from the antifreeze gun, and the rain is falling on the side of the mountain. This is causing a mudslide, which produces a large pile of mud. Ergo, mud piles. And that brings our scene to a close. Thanks for watching.